Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered just how far it all goes? How deep is the darkness? How wide is the silence between the stars? We live on a tiny world, a fragile blue dot, floating in a vast ocean of space. But what lies beyond what we can see? How far does the universe truly stretch? In this video, we'll take you on a journey, from your backyard to the edge of the observable universe, and far, far beyond. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe, so you never miss another trip through the cosmos. This isn't just a video. It's a voyage across time, distance, and imagination. Prepare yourself. We begin, now. We begin where we are, on Earth. A sphere, 12,742 kilometers wide. Big to us. But already insignificant when compared to our solar system. The moon, our closest neighbor, is 384,000 kilometers away. A distance that light covers in just over a second. Yet to us, it feels impossibly far. From Earth, the next great leap is the Sun, our life-giving star. It lies 150 million kilometers away. A distance so immense, a Boeing jet would take 19 years to fly there non-stop. And yet, sunlight reaches us in only 8 minutes and 20 seconds. From the sun, we continue outward. Past the orbit of Mars. Through the asteroid belt. Beyond gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. And then further. To the edge of our solar system. At Neptune, 4.5 billion kilometers away, sunlight takes over 4 hours to arrive. But our journey doesn't stop there. Beyond Neptune lies the Kuiper Belt, and further still, the Oort Cloud. A theoretical shell of icy objects, stretching perhaps 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun. That's 15 trillion kilometers away. So far that it would take the fastest spacecraft we've ever built, Voyager 1, over 30,000 years just to get there. But even this, the outer shell of our solar system, is nothing compared to the wider universe. We leave the sun's domain behind, and enter interstellar space. The nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, lies 4.4 light years away. One light year is nearly 9.5 trillion kilometers. At our current pace, it would take Voyager over 70,000 years to reach it. Beyond that? A staggering emptiness, sprinkled with stars. Our Milky Way galaxy is home to more than 200 billion stars. And it stretches over 100,000 light years across. If the solar system were the size of a coin, the Milky Way would be the size of North America. And we, we live near the edge. In a quiet suburb of this galactic metropolis. But even the Milky Way isn't alone. It's part of the local group. A collection of about 50 galaxies. Spread over 10 million light years. And this group drifts together through a much larger structure. The Virgo Supercluster. Home to thousands of galaxies. Arranged in threads and clusters across 110 million light years. But again. This is just the beginning. Our supercluster itself is part of something even more colossal. Laniakea, our immense heaven. A titanic network of galaxies stretching over 500 million light years. Within it, everything we've ever known. Our planet. Our solar system. Our galaxy. Is a mere speck. And yet. We're still within reach of light. As we expand our gaze even further. We approach the edge of the observable universe. The limit of what light has had time to reach us. Since the birth of the cosmos. It spans 93 billion light years across. How can this be, if the universe is only 13.8 billion years old? Because space itself is expanding. Not like objects moving through it but like a balloon inflating, stretching every distance as it grows. Some galaxies, 
caught in this stretching, are now racing away from us faster than the speed of light. Their light will never reach us. Their stories will forever remain untold. This boundary is not the edge of the universe, but the edge of what we can see. Beyond it, more galaxies, more clusters, perhaps even other universes, locked forever beyond the limits of our sight. The true size of the universe is unknown. It may be infinite, or it may curve back on itself, in a shape we cannot yet grasp. And so, as we return to Earth, that pale blue dot, we carry with us a humbling truth. We are part of something truly vast. Our lives, so small in the scale of things, still shimmer with meaning against this endless canvas. The universe is enormous beyond comprehension. But we, tiny as we are, have the minds to ask, how big is it? And in asking, we've already taken the first step toward understanding. We've traveled far. From our blue planet, through the solar system, past stars and galaxies. All the way to the edge of the observable universe, a boundary 46.5 billion light years away in every direction. But now, we step beyond the known. Into the unknown. Into what lies outside the reach of light. What lies beyond the observable universe. To answer that, we must understand what the observable universe really is. It is not the edge of all that exists. It is simply the limit of what we can see. Because the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, light has only had 13.8 billion years to travel. Yet due to the expansion of space itself, the farthest galaxies we can observe today have already moved over 46 billion light years away. And beyond them, beyond this cosmic horizon, are regions forever hidden. Places from which light will never reach us, no matter how long we wait. These regions are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light. This isn't science fiction. This is the consequence of cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion that occurred in the first fractions of a second after the Big Bang. In that fleeting moment, space expanded faster than light, creating a vast, possibly infinite cosmos. The result? Our observable universe might be just a tiny patch in an incomprehensibly larger hole. A small bubble in a much bigger foam. So what exists in the vast unobservable universe? More galaxies. More stars. More matter. Perhaps more physics. Some scientists estimate that the unobservable universe could be at least 250 times larger than what we can see. Others suggest it could be infinite. But infinity brings with it strange possibilities. In an infinite universe, everything that can happen, will happen. Somewhere out there, far beyond the light horizon, could be another Earth. Another you. Another version of this moment, happening again, slightly different, or eerily the same. This is not fantasy. It is a natural implication of mathematics applied to an unbounded cosmos. And yet, there's more. Some physicists propose that our universe is not the only one. That it is one bubble in a grander multiverse. Each universe within this multiverse may have its own laws of physics. Some might contain stars and galaxies, others may be dark, empty voids. Some could collapse seconds after birth. Others could be brimming with exotic forms of life, governed by unfamiliar rules. The multiverse theory arises from inflationary cosmology and string theory. Scientific attempts to unify our understanding of reality. But it also raises profound questions. To visualize it, let's step forward into the future. Scientists estimate the Big Rip could occur in roughly 22 billion years. If dark energy behaves in this dangerous way, let's break down the final hour of the universe. 60 million years before the end. Galaxies begin to break free from their gravitational bonds. The Milky Way disintegrates. The stars scatter. 30 minutes before the end. 
our solar system unravels. The sun is torn away from the planets. The planets themselves spiral apart. Minutes before the end. The earth is shredded. The crust splits. The oceans boil into space. Milliseconds before the end. Molecules stretch and snap. Atoms unravel. Even the fabric of space becomes unstable. At time zero. Space itself rips. If you were somehow alive during the final seconds. You wouldn't see the stars fade. You wouldn't drift gently into darkness. You'd feel yourself stretching. Your body pulled apart. Your atoms unraveling. Reality, disintegrating. There's no escape.